hello hello how are you guys doing my sweet sweet people my sweet team how are you guys doing the grace team thank you for coming for all my old and new subscriber or friends a warm welcome to you today i would like to share with you one of my country street food which is called pinot i have one of the another uh, another recipe of it already on my channel but today i have another version of it so i would like to share with you how i do it from a to z okay so without further ado guys let me quickly show you what i have to use for this awesome recipes okay all right so this is what i'm using for this recipe uh this is turkey butt i don't know if you guys can recognize it it's turkey butt usually i do this very very rarely but you know sometimes it's full of grease it have a lot of fight on it so instead of frying they usually back home they boil it and fry them but i'm going to put them in the oven bake them so first of all i will season this so first of all i'm adding this slice of uh, onion and i'll be adding my chicken seasoning a little bit of ginger a little bit of garlic tiny little bit of cumin and some parsley flakes and yeah so uh, i have some chicken bouillon and a little bit of salt so i just add a little of those two because my chicken seasoning have salt on it so i will be adding some water actually i need more water i use a lot of water for So I use a lot of water for the, with this because I'm gonna use the chicken broth after all okay so this is it so yes yeah, so I'm going to leave this to boil yeah we'll bring it to boil like two or uh, two to five minutes yeah you can see that I have a lot of water on me because at the end I'm gonna need this water for the second step okay so let me cover it up and let it boil okay so this is my adult bean after four minutes I don't want to let it boil any further so after four minutes I'm separating the adobe bean. Those are chick uh, turkeys, but I don't know if I said it. I told you guys before. I, I don't remember saying it. Saying it. So they are turkey but you see. So as long as you see all the fat on it. So back home, they usually, what they do, they usually fry them. But to be a little bit on the healthier side i'm gonna go ahead and bake them i'll bake them for 25 minutes uh, on. so this is it i'll put them in my oven for 25 minutes on 375 degree okay so i will show you the result the end result of after 25 minutes 25 minutes sorry quickly guys let me show you how uh, my 
big turkey turns out it looked like it was fried but it was baked and all the fat was turned into oil they all came out and this is so crispy and delicious i'll make another video to show you how to do it so as you can see here i have some uh sliced onion sliced fresh tomato and some tomato paste and i have my gary here so what we do before you go to the um trader or whatever you guys call it on the street to do your pinot you have to do this step if you want your pinot to be really really good you add some oil to your gary a little bit of water you spray with some water so basically you bring your own gary to the lady on the street to do your pinot so i i name this pinot <laughs> i name it uh jollof eva because i know uh other part of uh West Africa people like Nigeria I don't know Ghana I think Ghana do the same thing I don't know so if you are Ghanaian watching this let me know if you guys do the same thing too so I'll be adding the onion the sliced onion to it and my tomato paste and I mix it well together you hey guys it smells so good and I'll be adding just the addition of the onion give it, in, give it a nice smell I'll be adding just a little bit of, of uh, salt because you know don't forget the chicken broth the chicken broth I'm using is salty seasoning everything so the next thing and the last thing will be my fresh tomato and mix it well together. Some people like to add um, a little bit of chicken bouillon to this, but for me, that chicken bouillon, I already add some of my uh, chicken uh, turkey board when I was uh, cooking them, so that's enough for me. So. This is how it looks like when you are taking it to the street to make your pinot, okay? So here I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of water, about a cup of water to this bowl and bring it to a bowl, okay? Sorry. So guys see my gari here well mixed we call this gari photo so you prepare your gari photo from your house before you bring it outside to do your pinot but some, for some people they don't really care they just bring their plain gari or they just go outside there and meet the woman the uh whatever you call it yeah so they just go there and meet the vendor the vendors some most of them they have their own gari, uh, gari that they are selling they have gari they have tomato onion everything there uh if you are single like uh, those single men they go out there the vendor who mix everything for them and fix the peanut for them and they pay whatever they have to pay so this is my gary isn't beautiful so i think my bro is boiling now so let's go and finish with this yeah so the water is pretty much boiling so those are my Parsley flakes inside there. This broth here was seasoned. Now I will go ahead and add 
my god it fucked up into it but first of all don't forget you have to turn off the heat or lower it at the least least lower level and you add your gary photo while you are adding it don't forget to mix it Some people like it soft, but some of them like it strong or hard, I would say. So I'll be adding just a bit, a little bit more. And that's it. So I'll turn back my fire until on lower heat. Have my fire and my little bit. And see, my garlic photo is ready. Right, garlic photo, my pino instead is ready. This is one of our favorite um, street food in togo i hope you guys like it and we usually enjoy with if with um the chicken bug is still on the stove i think i have six minutes left so when i'm done i will show you guys the finished product and i hope you will love it okay